Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, Prophet Margin the High Priest. Uh, this is a question from Ken Florence uh, from one of my previous videos about the Akai MPK 261 in Studio One. Uh, I showed you guys in the last video how to map uh, the board completely to PreSonus' Studio One. Uh, and Ken asked uh, how to use it within Impact, the drum machine that comes with uh, Studio One. If you look here on the screen, I have Impact loaded already and I already have a drum kit loaded. Uh, what's weird about Impact, and I don't know why PreSonus does this, but they start at B0, and that's odd to me, only because I've only ever seen drum machines start at C1 with uh, pretty much any drum uh, sampler, including like battery, which is what I prefer to use anyway. Uh, so I don't know why they started at B0, but there's two ways you can deal with that. Uh, you can either do it with an impact, and I'll show you how to do that. If you hit, uh, hit a pad, over here on the right hand side you will see that you have trigger first and second. Now you'll notice that the B, uh, the note and the number of the note, you know, C1, B1, you know, like that, is listed for where the trigger first and the second trigger is for that pad. Uh, that's if you wanted to like do um, ranging with the pad so you could key stretch it across, key track it across your keys if you wanted to. But what's cool about this is uh, you can either change it right here where it says trigger first and second inside of impact or what's really cool is if you hit edit on your MPK 261 and tap a pad you can change all of your pads and say you're using only impact and not any other drum machine you can uh, hit edit hit a pad and then change all of your pads to match impact so there's two ways to deal with that so if you hit edit and hit the pad it would say the pad would start the first pad one starts at C1 you would just uh, you know uh, take the, the the data wheel and turn that down to B0 and then move the next one uh, you know to uh, C1 and then as it as it occurs on on impact so there's two ways to do it this is a quick video um, hopefully that helped you guys hopefully can you um, can understand uh, how to do that uh, guys, I'm telling you though, this is a really great um, uh, mixture between controller and hardware and software, between the controller and the, and the uh, doll. I absolutely love it. I'm still loving it, and I'm loving it more every day. Uh, there's a little, you know, always a little couple of few things in the, like I said in the keyboard in the previous video, and a couple of things in Studio One that are a little odd, like the impact starting at B0, but, you know, you can deal with it, and that's how you deal with it, guys. Um, hope this helped. Uh, let me know if you need anything else, and, um, have a good day. Talk to you guys later.